great storyteller, making the tantalizing tale of the Pentagon's brain from the depths of the Cold War of the present day come alive on every page. You know, you've been nice, and, and kind of let me lead the interview at first, but you're the expert on this, and, and obviously the expert on your book. It, you heard my point going into break. I mean, th this is a shadow government. It did basically become what Eisenhower warned about to a certain extent. And I think that adds the arrogance of Washington, because imagine what they've got they're not telling us about. But at a certain point, uh, still, it's just humans that are running this whole thing. Yes. Shall I tell you about uh, one of the spooky programs? Yes, please. Okay. So we were talking about coupling man and machine. That's the goal for the future. But DARPA is already able to create what they call biohybrids. That is their actual term for it, and it's actually it's like part animal, part machine. And this is now 12, 13 years old, this program, the success of it. So back in 2002, they had their first public success. Um, DARPA scientists wired up a rat's brain. These were like with tiny wires the size of human hairs connected to electrodes and also connected to a microprocessor that was sewn into the rat's back like a backpack. Then from 500 meters away, the scientists remotely controlled this rat through a maze. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Well, we're about to see some great advances in science and technology in the coming years. How many times have you been blazing about on your couch wishing that you did not have to go to the gym in order to get in shape? Well, that may be coming soon. Exercise in a bottle might soon be a reality. Scientists have been able to map the more than 1,000 changes that physical activity causes in the body, and they're using this to create drugs that have that same effect. Uh, these re researchers say that exercise is the most powerful therapy for many human diseases, including type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and neurological disorders. But for many people, exercise isn't a viable treatment option. This means it is essential that we find ways of developing drugs that mimic the benefits of exercise. And of course, the rest of us who can't ever make it to the gym will also benefit from these exercise in a bottle. Uh, but that's not it. There are also some new projects being talked about with some um, home development here with some of these larger communities. Uh, some of the developers talk about Grocery carrying robots could come with new homes. Now this is according to the would-be developer of the Lilac Hills housing project 
who has teamed up with a robotics company uh, in addition to a virtual rail, rail system within this massive complex. Uh, they say that they're going to include robots that would be unmanned electric vehicles that could move people about. Uh, there would be some transport robots that could carry your groceries or also robots following your children as they walk home from school to make sure they get home safely. Now, some people don't believe it. <laughs> a former supervisor said, did they use a robot to deliver this huge load of bull manure? So <laughs> there's a lot of people that don't see the future quite like some of our uh, technophiles do. But here's some other news that's coming out. A lot of people are obsessed with their cell phones and aren't putting them down. And uh, now this could actually be changing the dynamic of our relationships. Duh. Now, this is according to a new study uh, from Baylor University. They found that fubbing hurts relationship satisfaction. And so this means ultimately it negatively impacts your overall happiness. Um, fubbing refers to partner phone snubbing. This is when you get distracted by your cell phone when you're with your significant other. And to find these results, they would see if, if people included statements like, my partner places his or her cell phone where they can see it when we're together, or my partner glances at his or her cell phone when talking to me, which of course, this you see this so often. If you go to a restaurant, you'll see couples that aren't even speaking to each other, they're just on their cell phones. Or if you're at a party, no one's talking to each other, they're just all on their cell phones. Uh, so these are pretty astounding results. They're actually confirming that something as common as the cell phone uh, can be undermining the bedrock of our happiness as well as our connection, which is why it's kind of funny that once again, continuously, we have Ray Kurzweil, Google exec, pushing for brain implants so that we can constantly be connected to the internet. So talk about a fundamentally undermining your happiness. He wants us to be perpetually connected. Um, he says with robots in our brains, we'll be godlike. <laughs> that is, is actually what he said. Why would we want to be the same dull, regular human every single day? We can upload these nanobots uh, implant them in our brains. We can gain and expand our intelligence by being directly connected to the internet and ignoring everything and everyone around us. Uh, but he says, with these nanobots, we're gonna be more musical, we'll be funnier, we're going to be better at expressing loving sentiment. Isn't that the exact opposite of what it seems like technology is doing for us now? And I don't really equate robots with you know telling jokes, but he says evolution creates structures and patterns that over time are more complicated, more knowledgeable, more intelligent, more creative. So it's moving in this direction that God has been describing as having these qualities without limit. Evolution is a spiritual process and making us more godlike. So now he is really selling that. So let's look at Ray Kurzweil a little bit. Now, in one of his his books, uh, The Age of Spiritual Machines, this was his big breakout book. He talks a lot about the elites and what they're going to have to do in the future when humans really are unnecessary. Uh, they're going to have all of these systems in place. Of course, all of our jobs will be automated. We're just gonna have a mass of humans kind of hanging around that are useless. So he talks about uh, this ruthless elite and what they might have to do to exterminate the mass of the population or uh, simply alter people's, engineer them to be docile in this new society to pacify their need for activity. So he talks a lot about this, but what's interesting is that the passage that he uses to quote this in his book is directly taken from the Unabomber's Manifesto. That's right, Ted Kaczynski's Unabomber Manifesto. So why would uh, Ray Kurzweil be interested in reading that? Well, before the Unabomber was this Luddite who was totally anti-technology and he wanted to destroy to destroy all the technology uh, that is building this matrix all around us. Um, he was considered to be a child prodigy. He was accepted into Harvard College at the age of 16, and he was among 22 students who were research subjects in what has been described as brutalizing psychological experiments, which were conducted by Henry Murray, and they were rumored to be part of the MK Ultra program. So of course, it seems reasonable that that would be why Kurzweil would be interested in what he had to say say what insights he revealed in his writings. Uh, one such thing you can find in his manifesto, 
He talks about, it has been established beyond any rational doubt that human thought and behavior have a largely biological basis. As experimenters have demonstrated, feelings such as hunger, pleasure, anger, and fear can be turned on and off by electrical stimulation of appropriate parts of the brain. Memories can be destroyed by damaging parts of the brain or they can be brought to the surface by electrical stimulation. So now all of this stuff was happening to Ted Kaczynski years ago. He was a part of these experiments that people say was part of the MK Ultra program. And after that, he became a total technophobe, a total Luddite, wanted to destroy all technology. And now we have Ray Kurzweil pushing for these brain chips. So let's go back to our investigative journalist and best-selling author, Annie Jacobson. She was on the Alex Jones Show today and she was breaking down uh, the use of these brain chip implants and how DARPA is now actively experimenting on the military. So we were talking about coupling man and machine, that's the goal for the future, but DARPA is already able to create what they call biohybrids. That is their actual term for it, and it's actually it's like part animal, part machine. And this is now 12, 13 years old, this program, the success of it. So back in 2002, they had their first public success. Um, DARPA scientists wired up a rat's brain. These were like with tiny wires the size of human hairs connected to electrodes and also connected to a microprocessor that was sewn into the rat's back like a backpack. Then from 500 meters away, the scientists remotely controlled this rat through a maze, okay? And this process has been ongoing of coupling more animals with machines. And just last year, DARPA scientists did the same thing with a moth. So they inserted the electrodes, these neuroprosthetics, into the moth when it was in its pupa stage. So think that through. It's like this incredible analogy of metamorphosis. So they put the electrodes in the pupa stage, the worm stage, and then the moth, you know, the wings blossom in essence. And now the brain chips, the body chip, is part of the animal. And the DARPA scientists were able to steer this Mandica sexta moth that same way. The moth only has a, a life cycle of 90 days. So it was like a short experiment. But you can see this movement toward being able to control um, humans in the same manner. Absolutely. It's the end of free will. You know, if you sign up for it, I mean, and I think that's the rub. I think that there's a lot to be said about being aware of how these military applications, you know, are or not are not appropriate. The government calls it um, this, a super, the super soldier program. I mean, that's what it is, giving war fighters enhanced cognition, enhanced physiology. So sure, we all know there's governors like, lifting weights or marching. They can just flip a switch <laughs> and you can march 100 miles. <laughs> or you can wear the super suit, which, by the way, DARPA has teamed up with special forces now to create this Talos super suit. I mean, it has, it, you know, it does everything. It even has, like, blood hemorrhage control mechanisms inside of it. Good God. Well, that's it for the show tonight. Thank you for watching. And if you are watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you here again Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine. Hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.